is in here mga kapatid that I screenshot I will asking um, I will read in it to Habi and Habi will answer your question okay I will try my best to translate it because puro Tagalog ito first question is from uh, Catherine ayan si Catherine Roque Castillo uh, she asked you is um Ang question ko po ate is sino po ang mas wild sa inyo ng hobby mo po sa kama? Means is, her question is who is the wildest on bed between me and you? That's the first question. Foreigners looking to marry Filipino ladies. You know, not just something like who's the most wildest <laughs> in... That's your first question. Uh, you are. Oh, ako daw, ako daw. <laughs> There you go. And then the second question is, sino una... Is it by the same person? Yes. Okay. <laughs> sino una na in love sa inyo pong dalawa? Who's the first fall in love, you or me? Fell in love, you and me. I would have thought probably me, but like it's... Yeah, I would have thought it would have been me. But yes. I don't truly know. To be honest. It's it's him because he the one yeah. proposed immediately. No, of course, me. it's him. That's your um. Uh, the second person as as question is is Mary Soriano Orionion. Yeah, and question host um how many years we've been married? So we've been married since two thousand and five. So this will be year, but at the end of uh, what December fourth, it will be sixteen years. Is that right? Yeah, sixteen years, yeah, my kapatid. It will be sixteen years in December fourth this year. Mm -hmm. Her next question is um is he? her okay. Ma Ma Mary Mary Reunion. Her second question is it's about me about my group. Host Ilan taon na po kayo magkakaibigan ng Team Paayuda. Uh, Team Paayuda, we've been uh, friends, I think, five months or six months yeah, now. Your blue pillow. Blue pillow. And much better the yellow one. Five months or six months na po. At magkukumari po kami. True to Eliona, Elena and Eliona TV. Yun po. Sino ang pinaka matanda sa 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 amin 
na timpa ayuda kapatid Mary Ann reunion is si Josephine <laughs> si Josephine Yanesa. And she asked, "Host, how many years that I've been living abroad?" You've been living here <clears throat> basically pretty much since 2008, should we say? This is Q and A. If you look like tired, <laughs> I am. oh my goodness! Tens, uh, eleven. How many years we've been married? Her third, fourth question. You've already answered that. 16 years. 16 years na po kaming kasal, host. Nearly 16 years. Host dry, hindi ka po pa now homes. Yes, now homesick ako until now, kapatid. Still, is, mm -mm, nothing years. can beat Philippines where you born and raised. So I'm still feeling homesick. Host dry, ilang araw, ilang beses po. <laughs> this question is for you. How many times a day we do jiggy jiggy? Not as many as we used to. <laughs> Can you open your eyes? You look like sleeping. I am sleeping, but I'm listening to you. Okay. This I'm... question is from Josephine Lianessa. <laughs> from... <laughs> yeah, my Mars from yeah. Norway. He said Holy Land. Yeah. Holy said... Land is Israel. No, that's her, that's her name. She asks you a question, Mars, when it come in sex, what do you prefer, morning or evening, and why? Morning, because I have more energy. Morning, then, more energy. Was it come, Mars? <laughs> And then, paano, this question is from Michelle Tungol. Paano kayo nagkakilala ni Habi mo? Hmm? Mo, I wanna know mm -hmm. your love story mula umpisa, kapatid. How we, we met and how they start the, our love story from That's Michelle Tungol. That's not Tungol. a uh, question you can answer just like that. Mm-hmm. Tell her to uh, subscribe and pay a monthly fee. <laughs> <and a bit. laughs> <laughs> We're sick of that. It's not, it's not an easy question you can just answer in, in, a, in a sentence. It's... Yes, but you make it short. <laughs> we married in 2005. Mm -hmm. We met in 2005. We married in 2005. So what was the whole question? Um... Paano kayo nag how we met? Yeah, we met in a club. When and where? In Hong Kong. Yes. In two thousand in September two thousand and five. Yes. Surprise! And then she the second question is, um, it's for me actually. Ano okay. nagustuhan mo kay habi mo at ano naman ang nagustuhan na both of us? What you like? Why? What would you like? I mean, how? You fell in love to me, or what, what personality did you like on me? Can I, I like the look of you, first of all. <laughs> and then? Mm. It was nice to be out, you know, uh, in, in a club and, and uh, where there you could buy drink and food and dance. It was a nice atmosphere. It was a nice atmosphere. It was a friendly atmosphere, if I remember. As well, you know. Okay. Um, I think me, I like on him. First, first thing that I like on him when I met him, his persistence. Yeah, I, I saw on him. And um, knowing that I work in a bar, I saw some, some qualities on men that I never see to other men's before. Which is yung persistence niya, and then yung care, and yung care niya sa akin, yun. And then acceptance to my two kids, yun yun, kapatid Michelle Tungol. Oh, that was much later. You've, you can't include the two children in Australia. And then Miguel Abir question is, Sisi, ang tanong ko, when and where ang pinaka-memorable date mo with your hubby and naka- 
ilang beses kayo sa loob ng 24 hours. <laughs> love na. <laughs> when and where are memorable and how many times that day we do jiggy jiggy. <laughs> I don't get it. I can't even answer that. In wow. Hong Kong, our first met, of course. Yeah. In Hong Kong, we met in Hong Kong, kapatid, sa bar New Makati, and then how many times we had that we can't remember, but that for sure we is nice, right. We had a nice. Uh, <laughs> I remember we purposely went out to have a, a restaurant at the the Orange Restaurant was was it down Fields Avenue, which is long gone now. Mm -hmm. But it was the Orange something restaurant Orange, and I think we, I think we had a uh, like a spaghetti in the dish or some kind this was a lot this would have been in 2005 so i can't exactly remember what the name of the restaurant was but i know it was the orange or something so if anyone is familiar with uh fields avenue the history of fields avenue in the last 20 years maybe they know okay the second question is uh sa lahat or all the among that relationship i had sino yung pinaka pinaka mahal mo at bakit? She said, who is um, I fell in love with and why? Actually, kapatid, um, Miguel Abir, like I said, I work in a bar. And you heard my a bit of story. I don't have a heart. I use men as a, as a provider. So, I don't commit. I just receive. So, I didn't have a feelings, emotion attached to them. So, only my wow. husband. <laughs> now, <laughs> yun. The third question is, CC when and where and to whom pwede di isama si CC mo unang sinuko ang perlas. Um, I, I was a ra rape victim, kapatid. I'm a rape victim. So, hindi ko siya sinuko. Kinuha siya ng sapilitan. <laughs> Miguel Abier, sana na-answer ko yung question mo. Uh, yun. Fourth question, ano mo, ano meron bang pangyayari or nagawa mo sa buhay mo na pinagsisisihan mo na kung pwede i-rewind uh, and nakaraan, di mo tatahakin ang daan na yun. She asked, she basically saying what um, past that I had that I regret and I can rewind and not going through in that direction. Probably it's me, yeah? That question is me. <laughs> Probably is when I work in a bar. Mm. That's the uh, route that I don't have a choice I need to because I need to provide for my two kids. That's the route that I don't wanna um <laughs> If I could have a choice, I don't go through on that. <laughs> ano yung pinaka magandang nangyari sa buhay mo na kahit na mag-uulianin ka na... You're reading it like I <laughs> The way they write sometimes, daddy, is, you know, cut off. Mag-uulianin ka na na tingin mo, di mo makakalimutan. Nakatatak sa puso at isip I think, uh, kapatid, um, that um, I don't regret is stand. I stand that I become a mom, even such a young age. I need to fight because a lot of uh, in my way um, to become a mom. If I can uh, put that in one content that make you clear is... Um, Hindi ko sila pina-abort. Even though I'm in my young, my young age and a lot of uh, whispered on my ears that do that direction, I didn't do. So, become a mom and stand for it and uh, provide for that. And uh, that's that I can say I can be proud of it. And until now. And I, I think I answer all your quest question, mga kapatid. Um, I think may isa pa, si Emeline, si Emeline SB. Ang question niya is, If there one thing you could change about me, 
what will that be? If one thing, if you daddy, one thing that you can change about you, what will that be? What would I change about me? Yeah. Attitude, behavior, or whatever is that. What will that be? <sighs> Nothing comes to mind to me right now. I'll come back to that. <sighs> I think uh, me, my temper. My temper, kapatid, because I had a temper that I can't control sometimes. I'm not proud on that one. So that's will I will change. Second, what make you jealous? A lot. A lot of things. <laughs> Mostly, number one is food. Hmm. <laughs> yes, I'm jealous. I'm, I'm freaking jealous if I see food and then I, I can't eat it. Mostly Filipino food. And I don't have the way to, to cook it. Even I had the ingredients or I need to get the ingredients first. The time, you know, that number one thing I'm jealous. Um, I'm jealous, of course, if I know this, even I shouldn't because I don't had, um, my husband doesn't give me anything to make jealous in the first, pla first place. But, you know, being Filipina, we had a prick mentality. So, ah! agree with me or not, we, that's what we are. <laughs> yes, m number one, it's food. Mm -hmm. If you are going to lose your all memory tomorrow, what is the one mem memory with with me that you would keep and why i think um not be not being um uh what you can ask, uh, say that not hindi kayo maiirita sa tanong ko i think um the memory being giving birth that memory when we giving birth the pain and what we go through as a woman as a as a mom is is unbelievable honestly because you you giving life you know um to another human being we are part part of that and then the love the love with that as well so yeah being giving birth that moment that you giving birth that pain remind me to stand to fight what circumstances we had what depression we had what, what anything that memory because in making me feel i'm i'm a deserving person oh you that day it's again a, a difficult one to answer isn't it well, maybe your reaction on your f for your first or second birthday that we were together when I got you, when you opened in your presence and you were very emotional and you were crying because I think you said you hadn't been um, you hadn't experienced that kind of uh, treatment before, mm -hmm. so it was quite uh, a little bit overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even to see. So yeah, that that was nice, and it was um, it was good for me because obviously I felt that I went, I, I felt that my efforts were appreciated. At the same time, I see that firsthand in front of you. You know, you don't see that every day. It's very, uh, very uh, um, unique and rare yeah, yeah. to see that. So, and it was the only time really that I've seen it. So you know, and that was a very happy. Although you were, you showed uh, tears. It was tears of of happiness really mm -hmm. so yes that was very unique and at the moment one which will never happen again really so they, yeah they're probably that that's what comes to mind now i'm sure there will be others but that's what comes to mind now okay i think that was either your your first or your second birthday but we have been together i'm not too sure which so it would either have been in august 2006 can you remember what's that present i can't remember no, I can't. But I just gave, <laughs> I remember you in our in in our room back at one four two long lane, and I gave you, I I was giving you your presents there, you know, in in our room. So I just can't remember exactly um, what it was I was giving you, but no, it was more your response. It was your, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah like it the, was a few things that you got. The fourth question is, how many kids would you like? I don't answer that because I'm uh, kapatid, kotang kotang na ako. Di man na anak ko, so I think that question is is for hobby now. <laughs> You've bit, I've bitten off more than I can chew. That answers your question, I think. 
What, what, how many kids actually you dream without? I haven't. I've bitten off more than I can chew, which means which you must know what that yeah, means. You are, it means yeah. I've got too many more. I've got more than I can handle, and we have three. <laughs> It's too, it's too many for us. It's too many. It's Three too already. Many. It's, it's too taken many. Away our, it's, it's taken away our lives. Yeah, that's so it. So I recommend to people not to have not to if they want three have two. If they want two have one because it's it's a lot of hard work. Yeah, having a kid it's nice, but it's a hard work. Hard it's work. devotion. It's yeah, devotion. It's expensive. It's devotion. It's time can very time consuming, mm -hmm. and uh, yep. Yeah, so. And let's put it this way: the the less you have, the better quality of life you have for that child and you. Yes. The more you have, though, then you have to spread it over, which means less time, less quality. <laughs> Nagising na siya. <laughs> okay, mga kapatid, I think na answer na namin lahat ng questions. So have a blessed day again, everyone. If yeah. any any more part two, just let me know. Comment down right. below. Comment down below, mga kapatid, for more questions. At hopefully, this man. When I ask question, he's standing up. He look like tired. Ay, gising na bebe Luna. At nag-charge pa po ako. O, di ba? Okay. Bye now. Bye na mga kapatid. Have a blessed day again, everyone. Happy Sunday.